Tesla was the undisputed king of the EV market, and it was beyond imagination that anyone could challenge its throne. Everyone had bought the dream. Its stock post 2020 rallied and reached valuations unheard for a car company, and became the most valuable car company worldwide. Investors were in awe of this company, with it being the next Apple and Elon the next Steve Jobs. But the dream is about to end. There is a new competitor in town, coming for Tesla's throne, that wants to take it all. A company backed by billionaire Warren Buffett, a company that has a history that is longer than that of Tesla's. Founded in China by Wang Chongfu, who was born in poverty in a poor village in China and had lost both his parents by his teens. So this is the story of BYD. Wang was born in 1966 to a family of farmers in Wuwei County in eastern China's Anhui Province. He was the second youngest of the eight children, and his parents died when he was a teenager. And was supported by his older siblings through his high school and university education. He studied chemistry and for several years worked as a government researcher. By 1995, Wang came up with a brilliant idea. When he noticed that the market for rechargeable batteries in China heavily relied on imports, particularly from companies like Sony and Sanyo in Japan, Wang thought, "Why don't I manufacture here and tap into this enormous domestic market?" And Wang then raised three hundred thousand dollars from friends and relatives, and rented a space of two thousand square meters in the city of Shenzhen in China, and established a battery factory for mobile phones. And by two thousand, BYD became one of the largest manufacturers of mobile phone batteries in the world, primarily producing batteries for Nokia, Motorola, Sony Ericsson, and Samsung. And at this stage, Wang decided to enter into a new industry while utilizing his expertise in battery manufacturing. And the industry which he decided to disrupt was the automobile industry by developing a battery-powered electric car. In 2003, when Wang first came up with an idea to make an EV, it was nothing short of a dream, as there was no real evidence that could suggest that it would be a success. On the contrary, General Motors had launched its first EV in 1996, called EV1, which could sell only 1,100 units. And GM declared EVs to be a commercial failure, and in 2003 recalled all 1,100 units it had sold and destroyed all of them. Tesla back then had just launched, and Elon had invested an initial 6.5 million dollars as seed capital, and it would not be until 2008 that Tesla would launch its first car. But Wang was undeterred and decided to take a leap of faith. But there was one small problem: Wang had no experience in the automotive industry. And manufacturing a car is a complex process with so many variables involved. So BYD in 2003 acquired a failing Chinese car company, Quinchen Auto, and was later renamed to BYD Auto, and it became the foundation on which Wang built his automotive empire. Initially, Wang decided to create a regular functioning car with an internal combustion engine. This was just to get started and learn the secrets of the automotive industry. And in 2005, BYD created a regular compact car called F3, and it was a hit, becoming the best-selling vehicle in China. And no one would have thought that a tiny little car company would give giants like Toyota and General Motors a run for their money. And in 2008, BYD launched its first hybrid EV called F3 DM, but it did not sell well, and demand for it was very weak. Until April 2009, only 80 cars were sold. The situation, however, improved when the government of Shenzhen decided to support BYD and purchase some of its cars. However, the hybrid car had a difficult start. Wang, on his journey, had won a fair share of admirers, and one of them being Warren Buffett's partner and Berkshire's vice chairman, Charlie Munger. Tesla last year reduced its prices in China twice. BYD increased its prices. We're direct competitors. We're so much ahead of BYD. I mean, BYD is so much ahead of Tesla in China. It's like a. It's just. It's almost ridiculous. And seeing Charlie's enthusiasm for Wang and BYD, Warren made him an offer to buy a quarter of BYD. But Wang refused to sell more than 10 percent of the company, which impressed Buffett. And in a comment to Forbes magazine, Warren said that this guy doesn't want to sell his company. And this is a good sign. And in September of 2008, amidst the financial crisis, 
Buffett purchased 10% of BYD for 230 million dollars, the value of which today is more than 8 billion dollars. Now, with fresh infusion of capital and newfound confidence by receiving a backing from the Oracle of Omaha, Wang was focused on his mission, and in 2011, it launched BYD E6, which was fully electric. This car became popular in many Chinese cities, especially as taxis, and this was also exported to Europe and United States, where it was used by companies like Uber and other ride-sharing services. And in April of 2012, launched a completely new generation hybrid car with improved specifications called BYD Han, and it quickly became one of the world's best-selling hybrid car and this marked BYD's true entry in the global car market. But Elon still did not consider BYD a true competition to Tesla. We're familiar with BYD, which is also on the west coast, I think they're ramping up production of their electric vehicles. Uh, Warren Buffett owns 10% stake in that. Uh, why do you laugh? BYD is trying to compete. Why do you laugh? Have you seen their car? I have seen their cars, yes. In fact, at the Berkshire Hathaway meeting, I saw their cars. Yeah. Well, they are on a different, they are on a different, tell me why you're laughing. Um, you don't see them at all as a competitor. No. However, it was all about to change, when in 2016, BYD hired Wolfgang Agar as design chief, a role he previously played for Audi and Alfa Romeo. It also lured away other international executives, including Ferrari's head of exterior design and a top interior designer for Mercedes-Benz. And fast forward to today, its most expensive model is the Yang Wang U8 Sports Utility Vehicle, which costs 1 million yuan or approximately 152,000 US dollars. And is the world's largest manufacturer of rechargeable batteries, especially in the automotive battery industry. In 2020, BYD introduced its famous Blade battery, which is the safest battery in the world. It has passed rigorous safety tests and is highly stable with high energy density, and provides a long driving range and is cost effective. BYD uses it in its own vehicles and also sells it to its competitors such as Toyota and Tesla. This highlights a very distinctive aspect of BYD, which is its control over a vast part of its supply chain. BYD owns lithium mines and uses the lithium to manufacture its batteries. It also produces its own vehicles and semiconductor components through its subsidiary called BYD Semiconductor. In October of last year, BYD invested $710 million to acquire six ships, and each ship can carry 7,700 cars, and this was done in order to secure control over its shipping activities. In summary, BYD is determined to become the most integrated automobile company in the world, relying on itself more than others. This is part of its ambitious plan to become the largest and most important car company in the world. This dream, which started about 20 years ago, may be seen as foolish and naive by some. But today, it is within BYD's reach to achieve.